guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, fall is coming to an end. I just picked up a couple of pieces, not really necessarily picked up a couple of pieces. Um, but I wanted to show you my fall and winter essentials that I typically use during the colder months. Um, now this is just a smorgasbord, if you will, of a bunch of different products that I typically use during the colder months. Um, and that can be from lipstick. I know during the fall and winter months, I also tend to be a lot more physical because I'm afraid that I might gain some additional weight, which I have already done. So, done. Um, but this year, it was really big. This year, um, there were a lot of uh, fitness trackers that came out, and one in particular that really stood out to me was the um, Mit. Misfit Shiny, which is this little itty bitty doohickey, and you can, it came it comes with the basic black watch wristband deal that you can put on, um, or you can detach the shine piece itself. Hope oh, I don't get stabbed in the face. You can actually take the shine piece out and actually physically attach it to um, like your shoelace. Um, your clothing so if you want to be like super fancy with it you can wear it as a necklace um, I did not purchase the titanium case that goes over this little bit because I wasn't sure if it was gonna go well with my phone because my phone is a Windows phone and if you are a Windows phone owner then you know that Windows is a very touchy entity like they either like the company so then they support the app and then they decide that they don't like the company anymore and that you're going to have to find a different app to work with a different product. Um, this, however, does work with the Windows Phone. I will say it's a little bit jumpy with the Misfit app itself. Um, I have found that it does not track my sleep. Some people have been able to track their sleep and I think it's because I move a lot. Um, in my sleep, I am a kicker, I roll, I punch. Poor Brandon, I'm surprised he even gets a full night of rest. Um, because I move that much. Um, moving on, moving on since we are on the subject of um, fitness deals or I don't want to say fitness because I am not the most fit person per se, but um, health wise, um, I recently injured myself in the gym um, on a leg day, surprise, in my groin area. And I think I pulled like a muscle or I lifted too much weight and I could not, I can't walk, I'm walking around like an old lady, really. Um, and I actually picked up some of these Salon Paws pain relieving patches. Um, they are just like the Bengay patches, um, but they are a little bit, more, I think they're cheaper actually. I don't know why I was drawn to these specific patches but these puppies work and I love the smell of these. I like the smell of Bengay and old people I guess. <laughs> um, but they smell really good and I think these were um, $2.99 um, and there's a pack, this is a four pack. I did not realize that they come so real they come as a full strip, okay? But since it's for my thighs, I just cut it in half and then just save the other half. But you just, it's an adhesive little sticky thing. You just peel this off. I guess I'll show you guys. For the sake of YouTube, you just peel it off of the little green piece of paper, this deal, and then you just apply it to whatever hurts. Uh, and it works for arthritis, strains, bruises, and sprains. Uh -huh, they made that rhyme. And um, it actually works. I can feel it working. It's tingly. It's kind of mentholated. So it's making my legs feel a lot better. I'm still walking around like a baby giraffe. But that's neither here nor there. Um, moving on. Um, typically in the colder months, my face tends to get a little bit dry. And when I say dry, I mean like uh, around this area. I'll get dry. Probably have dry skin right now. You can probably see it. Um, I get dry right around this area directly underneath my eyelids drives me absolutely insane. Um, I have very oily hair, uh, oily hair, I have very oily skin, um, 
so I don't want to like overdo it with too much like oils and lotions and all this other extra junk on my face that I don't really necessarily need. Um, but when I do moisturize my face, I use the Stridexin by our Skin Origin Stridexin, Stridexin Concentrated Stretch Mark and Skin Repair Formula. Now I know it says it is for um, stretch marks and skin repair. Um, I feel like my face feels a lot more plump in the facial region um, and I'm getting to that age where I feel like I'm going to start getting wrinkles soon. Um, I am an ex-smoker so I'm probably going to get some wrinkles. Anyway, um, I did originally pick this up for stretch marks. It does work. It is a little bit on the pricey side hence why I tried to keep it in uh, rotation with like my skincare as well as on my face or any part of my body really it really it really firms and plumpens everything you can actually see a difference in on my skin when I had stretch marks if you are looking for a stretch mark cream this is the cream to get I saw results after two after two weeks of using this um, it was expensive I don't know if they sell this in store I picked mine up through um, Amazon.com. If I don't use this for my face, um, like after I wash my face, I will use this, which is set. Oh my gosh, the oil is like rubbed off the actual title or whatever it's called. It's called the Seventh Generation Boost Hydrating with Jojoba Natural Skin Serum. This stuff literally lasts forever. Um, this was one of those things that I found. Um, on the sale rack at Walgreens. I love Walgreens. Those of you who know me know that I literally live in Walgreens. I live and breathe for Walgreens. So if they're doing some shady mess to their employees, they'll be really upset because then I won't shop there anymore. But anyway, um, this has pure ingredients for healthy skin. Um, you can use it daily. Um, I tend to use this during one time in the morning when I wash my face and then at night um, when I wash my face just to make sure that my skin is getting enough hydration because it is the drier part of the season. Um, it says apply one to two pumps to the fingertips, um, massage into damp skin so I just leave my face a little bit wet from me washing my face and then I just put it all over my face and my skin actually just soaks it all up. My skin loves this stuff. If you're worried about applying an oil to your skin because um, you're afraid you might break out. This stuff is super duper light. Your skin is going to eat it up. I don't know if there is anywhere else that sells this little deal. If there is something, if, if there is a store that sells it, um, or if I can find it online, I will link it in the description box below. Same with the Stridexin. I'm pretty sure Amazon still sells this stuff. Um, but I'll link both of these in the uh, description box below if I can find them. Um, moving on from facial moisturizers, I do use a special facial soap and it kind of depends on how I feel. Sorry, I'm checking to see if my phone is, go is going to ring. I'm anticipating a phone call. But anyway, um, it really depends on how my skin is feeling. If my skin is feeling oily, gunky, if I've worn too much makeup, um, I'll typically go for this which is another Walgreens find. This stuff lasts me a while. I don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it's not drying, it's just a lot of work, and I'm lazy. Um, but it is the Studio 35 Beauty Cleansing Cleansing Cream Deep Cleans with Eucalyptus Oil. This reminds me of Noxzema. It doesn't leave it's not like um, the thick Noxzema where you put it on your skin and it's like a thick white layer. Um, it'll actually, you just massage it in circular motions around your face. You don't need a scrubby. If you do use a scrubby, um, that's fine. It doesn't, it's not going to hurt your skin. <laughs> um, if you use a scrubby on your face, it's not going to harm your skin at all. This stuff is very light. What I like to do is if I'm like wanting to have like a me day um, and I'm not really doing anything, I will slap this puppy on my face. It does have eucalyptus oil in it so you're going to feel the tingling from the eucalyptus oil. I just put it on my skin and I just let it turn into a mask pretty much. It's not a mask, you just put it on, you leave it on for 
you use it like a regular cleanser. It, it's not a soap. It will burn the hell out of your eyes, but it's not a soap. Um, it's kind of lumpy. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's a very thick, kind of thin consistency though, because it's going to evenly go... I don't know, it's weird, because it tells you to do it in a circular motion. Gently to massage using a circular motion. And then you do the same way when you rinse it. Now if my skin is feeling really bad, or um, in this area, I have some blackheads that like to randomly pop up. I'll actually use a pumice, a, um, pumice stone. And this is my little pumice stone that I picked up from Target. And yes, I use it on my face. Now there's different, um, I don't want to say grit, but if you're a crafter or anything like that, basically there's a different kind of grit to each pumice stone. This is a very fine grit. This is not going to rip your face off. Um, you can use this specific pumice stone on your foot, hence why it's kind of curved. But I use this side, I actually use this whole thing for my face, really, and then I have a foot one um, that's shaped like a foot, and I scrub my feet with that. But um, I use this on my face. I typically have some, I don't know if I have any now. I don't, otherwise I would show you. Um, typically I get some really bad blackheads right through here. Um, this and the Studio 35 Beauty will actually take care of the blackheads in one fall swoop. Like, it's gone after leaving this on my face and then exfoliating it with the pumice stone. Um, moving on from facial cleansers, um, I don't typically wear a lot of perfume. I'm not a perfumey person. If I wear per a scent, I will stick to that scent until the whole bottle is gone, or I'll just dabble with it. But I have two favorite scents. Brandon picked, actually picked out both of them. Um, the first one is uh, Wind Kiss. Again, this is a really old one. I think we picked this up from CVS. And it kind of smells like... A vision of spring flowers dancing in the breeze comes wind kissed. A delicate, a delicate harmony of cotton flower, mimosa, white amber, and a whisper of soft musk. It's kind of a musky perfume. Let me give you my take on it. It's really light, and then it has like an undertone. If you, um, what is the one from Victoria's Secret? There's an amber, I think it's called Amber Musk from Victoria's Secret. That's kind of what it smells like, but it's 10 times, like it's like five, 25 times lighter than the Amber Musk. I'm not a musky type of perfume girl. I kind of like florally scents and scents that are very warming, if you will. Being said, that being said, um, I rotate this out with my Bodycology Vanilla or Toasted Vanilla Sugar Fragrance Mist. Pick this up from... Ivy, which is kind of like a natural, organic grocery store. It's actually a really nice grocery store. It's open 24-7. It's way better than Walmart. And they treat their employees better. I'm just saying. Um, I picked this up. I love the fuck out of this perk or body mist or whatever you want to call it. Fragrant mist. It smells like sugar cookies. And it's light. Like, you know... <coughs> sorry. You know how like some people like overload, like there's no way you can overload yourself with this perfume. I just got some up my nose. You know how people overload with body fragrance where they like literally spray their whole freaking body? Like who the, what the hell are you doing first of all? Anyway, um, you can't overload with this. It's one of those, I feel warm. It smells warm. Like fresh sugar cookies coming out of the oven. Like whenever I smell this, I get like a warm, tingly feeling. I, I can't explain it. The um, little description that they wrote for this one is a the warm blend of vanilla, brown sugar, and sensual amber creates a cozy, comforting scent. Which is exactly what it does. I love this stuff. I use this stuff pretty much every single day. I will smell like vanilla toasted sugar all the way up until springtime, and then I'll use my springtime stuff. 
but love this stuff. And lastly, if you guys came with me to the St. Louis um, Natural Hair Care um, Expo, then you would have remembered that I did get a Miss Jessie's bag, gift bag, and I'm just now trying out the products that are in there. And I love the Coily Custard. It works really well with my hair. I'm trying to say that you guys, there's literally like that much left. And they filled their little gift bag products up to like the top. Like this stuff was overflowing when I when it came out of the bag. And those of you guys who are wondering how my hair is doing, this is the finished product from the double dye job that I did. I thought for a second that I might have messed my hair up because it was feeling kind of funky. Um, I am doing a, I am winterizing my hair, if you will. If you guys are interested in how I winterize my hair, let me know in the comments down below and I will be more than happy to provide you guys with the video. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.